This episode of Casual Friday is brought to you by lynda.com. Their appearances, whether or not they wet the bed. There's plenty of ways you can judge a kid. Okay, what, what's the ROM game from Microsoft? Rise? Rise. Rise. There's a Y in it, right? Yes. Rise. Um, is that more appealing that they don't spell it like we spell it now? Yes. I, because I, when you Google it, it's something else. Yes, that's true. The that's first the trick. result won't oh. be the free dictionary. Are you getting at the fact that video game names are terrible? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Because I agree with you. Although video Rise game. is probably a better, or at least a more original one than most. I know, but I'm thinking Rise. Or there was really? that. Yeah, there was there was, there was that video about crumping. I mean, that movie about crumping. I think it was Rise, but it was a Z. Oh yeah, I remember yeah. that. Yeah, you know why? Because I met one of the guys from that when I was at the launch of the 360. No one could ever understand this. I'm interviewing the guy who bought the first 360 because God forbid, I don't know why that's an interesting interview. Anyway, we did. But there's this malevolent clown that is in the shop for no explainable reason because no one had any idea that there was this crumping that was going on earlier. Adam, I don't know what crumping is, but I, I know either. the movie you're talking about. Is that I just, I, isn't that where the, 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 the clowns that do the angry dance? Or is that a different thing? So Are Fa you describing Fable, uh, a real thing? Fable <laughs> Legends is a terrible name for a game. Uh, I got really angry at that. I saw, you did. I got legitimately angry. Do you know why I got angry? That's fine if they want to make more Fable games. Fable, Legend, they mean about the same thing. Yeah, but but the thing is, Fable's so self-referential and silly. I think they know. I think Lane. No, no, no. It. I don't think so. I think there's somebody on a marketing team somewhere who needs to have their fingers slammed in a desk drawer the next time they try to type a word because they yeah. picked the wrong ones. I'm so mad about that. Legends is gaining pop. You got legends, Rayman Legends. Everything is Legends, Origins, Revelations. Yeah. Within. Within. Within, I think you're grasping at straws there. Here, no. I actually, hold on, I have a list. Uh, let's see. You, you, you made I, a list. I did a, I did a very uh, preliminary sweep. Well, that's not casual uh, Let's see, Dark. You got The Darkness, Darksiders, Darkstalkers, Dark Souls, just plain dark. And then of course there's Dead, you've got Dead Island, Dead Space, Dead Block, Dead or Alive, Dead Rising. That's a few of them. And then there's Dust. I was just in the Ds. There's Dust 514. There's Dust and Elysian Tale. There's From Dust and there's Dust Force. All of these came out in the last five years. Well, it's not going to get any better the more games that come out. I mean, is there... people start making up words. I know there's people who sit around deciding what colors are going to be big for the year. But do you think there's a group that sits around going like, this is going to be like the word of the year? <laughs> it's the year of legends. Like Dust. It's like, ah, people are really into granular ephemera. So dust is gonna be hot. See, granular ephem ephemera sounds like a better name. No, yeah. no, no, actually that sounds like, you know, granular of ephemera, Castlevania, granular of ephemera. I mean, it's, I mean, I, I, Castlevania subheadings are some of the most preposterous ones in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Well, J Japan. Sorrow of yeah. forgetting. Um, Symphony of the night. That one's Illusion of your mom yeah. or. Castle of the Vain. Okay, so I, I think the game that I'm obsessed with because I think that it was is just indicative of what you're saying. Uh, for the Xbox One, there's a game called Brute Force. Mm -hmm. I mean, just give it there 10 is? more minutes. Yeah, yeah, there was. Give it 10 more minutes. For the Xbox <laughs> One? For the Xbox One. What, the, it, new, it, the new one that's coming out. No, the, the original, oh, see, see, the, you know, the original Xbox. Oh boy. No, everything has gone wrong! <laughs> I was having a, I was having a conversation uh, with, with, our, with our editor, Max, and I was like, well, it's confusing. We, we complain about names being overused, but we got another Max. Anyway. Um, Wait, it's not the same guy? Oh. Anyway, uh, we're talking about, uh, I was trying to remember the name of um, Dying Light. And That's I said, a hard one. I kept I confusing was... that with Dead Light. Yes. And with uh, the other one, what's the other? The I forgot about Deadlight on my list. Deadlight, Dead, Dead Rising. Yeah, there's, there's dying. There's, I, there's another light one. Light in August. Well, dying. I'm just like, why is? And then there, then I realized there's also there's also daylight. Daylight. That's what there's I was thinking. There's also black light. There's I know this uh, Metro Last Light, and all of these names got brought up, and we couldn't remember the name of goddamn Dying Light because it's the most forgettable sounding name. And it's, of course, it's about zombies, so how would yeah. that possibly help you narrow it down? Well, but, th but then there's the one from, um, from from Remedy, Quantum Break. Friends. Quantum Break. Quantum Break. Quantum Break Quantum sounds like Break. the like a candy bar from Futurama. It does. Yeah, it does. Actually. And it's just like, yeah, because there's other Quantums that are out there, both, you know, games and otherwise, and I just, if you say Quantum, I'm not thinking Break's gonna be the word that's gonna right. follow that. I'm thinking Mechanics. 
I think that's part of that whole like word bank of like cool sounding words yeah. that are like dark and Which, mysterious. So what's funny is is uh, Quantum of Solace, the, the James Bond movie. Oh god, it was terrible. Oh shut up, it was good. I oh, liked it. Awful. I liked it. Anyway, the point is uh, Oh that, Roger Moore would have been embarrassed to be in you that one. Shut your damn mouth, Adam mm. Sessler. Uh, Quantum of Solace, the only thing in that movie besides James Bond that was really based on anything that Ian Fleming ever wrote was the title, which was taken from a short story Ian Fleming wrote that is literally James Bond at a dinner party and this guy is talking about how his marriage failed. And it's like a 30 page story just about this man being like, yeah, and then, and then she started going to the country club more often and James Bond is just listening with a drink in his hand. And the whole point of the story is that this guy didn't show her or he didn't show her the quantum of solace, or the smallest amount of uh -huh. the, the smallest amount of kindness that you can express uh -huh. to someone. The point is, is just it's. I think it's funny that it's like it sounds so badass, I just but love it's the, like, I, like that's that, rooted that, in like marital relations. I haven't read this one, but I like how like Ian Fleming wrote a James Bond story as if it was written by Raymond Carver. <laughs> <laughs> it's just people having a talk and something unpleasant is unearthed in the process. Yeah, he blows up a boat in the beginning, but otherwise it's about a dinner party. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's like it sounds all futuristic, and you're like, oh, that's one of those new James Bond things they made up for the. No, he just know, wants a little bit of alone. peace. Just a yeah. little bit yeah. of peace. Yep. I wouldn't be surprised if we get games that start doing the like thing where they just go back to the original name, like Xbox. I mean, it's Xbox One, but a lot of people were yeah. predicting that it would be called Xbox. Yeah. What if like the next Rayman game is just called Rayman? And what if it becomes Assassin's Creed Origins? And actually this brings us back to the topic of Fable because there is another game that already exists called Fabled Legends. Are you serious? Yes. Ugh. It's from Big Fish Games. Ugh. <laughs> is, there, is there a Fable Origins? No. Or is that the, no. H, is the HD one? Are they calling it that or something? They're doing the HD one. I think it's game? not just Fable Pretty. Fable bit. It's Fabler. I don't know. I just fabled. Yeah, I I just it hurts. It the the naming thing really hurts. Is there a game called Epic? Uh, I mean, how about that? How about like we just kind of give there's, up? There's um the Mighty Quest for Epic Loot. Yeah, but see, that's kind of self. That, that, that's that, actually I actually kind of actually one of the more original like that. names. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's actually kind of sticks thinking, out. I'm thinking, why not? Let's let's just let, let's take the Occam's Razor theory. Let's just take things from the back of the box and just make that into the title. So it's like, like Far Cry. Far Cry is a great example. I love that they, they have, or Bioshock. Like those are those are great franchises because they're really not that grounded in any one concept. I mean, yeah. it's it's the style of gameplay and the sort of idea that the same people are working on it. But as far as like the cohesive thread goes, there's really not a whole lot there. How about if it's a sequel, like Fable? They won't worry about the numbers coming up with something. It's just. A fable you like you've never played before because some asshole is going to say that about the game at some point when they're doing a presentation. So screw it, just just, just, just make that call title. it new fable. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. The new adventures of so and so. I mean, th what, that's what bugs me about video games is so often they're in this like this kind of desperate panic to like reach out to the person who's maybe going to buy them and explain what they are, and that's why you get Call of Duty, Modern Warfare, right? It's not about firemen. They have a Call of Duty too. It's, well, it's about, not about modern it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not about World War II. Right. No, it's modern. You know, I mean, they have to. It's literally a genre. It's explaining yeah. what it is. Black, well, remember, it's Black Halo. Ops. Halo was combat evolved. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Because they had to explain it. Because Halo, they're like it's about angels. No. Yeah. Um, then you have five million prequels yeah. and origins. I have a lot of respect for uh, Dishonored and Sleeping Dogs uh, for being they Sleeping Dogs. That yeah. I mean, that's a kick-ass name for it's a game. It's a great name, but man, that's clearly a name that didn't get to the marketing team fast enough. Because I don't see how that made. I don't see how the market with it. Why can't we? Just I, I hate that with all of the, like the SEO stuff, all of the annotations and the linking and the things that you can do to drive your game, we still are falling back on just the semantics. Like it's it drives me up the wall. I mean, I think Far Cry is really a, a fantastic example because it really is. The hell does it have to do with anything? It doesn't. It doesn't describe. It's it's a far cry from something. They don't try and relate you're it. You're far away. You're far yeah. away. You're far, on an island. I guess. And then you're crying because yeah. malaria. I Somebody don't know. Somebody needs to make one of those porn name generators for video games. I'm sure. Yeah. I and bet see, you someone has. And you know I what? wouldn't be surprised if a lot of the answers actually turn out to be real video game names. I think. I, I think we have one of those. It's called EA. 
Ooh. <laughs> Medal of Honor Warfighter. <laughs> Now that you've had the opportunity to watch three people try to avoid working, why not you support Casual Friday and pick up an interesting and very useful skill. Lynda.com is an online learning company with more than 77,000 video tutorials that teach software, creative skills, and business skills. Membership starts at $25 per month and provides an unlimited 24-7 access to top quality video courses taught by expert instructors with real-world experience. New courses in programming, design, photography, 3D, and animation are added every week, and the training library keeps pace with today's fast-changing technical and software skills. Try out lynda.com for free for seven days and support Casual Friday just by visiting lynda.com casual.